going to talk about how Network Configuration Manager helps you maintain compliance. Ensuring compliance with the various regulatory mandates in effect today helps prevent loopholes and vulnerabilities and keeps your network secure. Network Configuration Manager offers default compliance policies for regulatory mandates such as SOX, HIPAA, and PCI DSS. You can also use it to comply with Cisco IOS policies or create your own policies. You can create customized compliance policies by first creating rules, then grouping them into rule groups, and finally further grouping them into policies. To add a rule, go to Compliance, then Rules, and then Add Compliance Rule. You can specify the criteria in three, such as Simple Criteria, Advanced Criteria, and Advanced Custom Criteria. Simple Criteria is used to check for the presence or absence of one or more lines of code in the configuration file. You can select a parameter such as Should Contain, should not contain, exact, or not exact set from the dropdown to search whether the given lines are present in the configuration file. Let me show you an example. Network Configuration Manager will check the specified lines one by one against the configuration file. If there's any violation, Network Configuration Manager will trigger an alarm. Now, let me show you an example for Advanced Criteria. Advanced Criteria is used to specify one or more conditions with regular expressions to check for a partial or full match in a line. Now, let's check if Enable Secret is configured or not. We're giving the parameter Enable Secret. This implies that the line should start with Enable Secret in the configuration file. Let us move on to Advanced Custom Criteria. Advanced Custom Criteria differs from Advanced Criteria because it allows you to define multiple blocks in a configuration for a selective compliance check. Now, we're going to check if the description is written for all the interfaces that are not shut down. First, you need to provide the block criteria to define the selective blocks. For this example, interface configurations will start with interface and end with an exclamation point. Next, you can provide additional block criteria, such as requiring that the description doesn't contain the word shutdown to filter the interfaces that are not shut down. Once you specify the criteria, click Next to add the name, description, and violation severity along with the remediation details. In the remediation section, you can specify a brief remediation description and select the remediation configlet, which will be executed to fix the issue in case of a violation. Now click on Save to add the rule. You can now create a rule group by grouping the required rules. Click on Rule Groups, add the necessary rules, and click on Save. Now, create the required compliance policy by choosing Policies. Provide a name and description and select the required rule groups to be added to the policy. While adding a policy, you can specify whether the policy is meant for a running or a startup configuration. You can also decide policy violation criteria based on whether any rule in the policy is violated or only if a critical rule is violated. Now, add the rule groups which are required. Now, click Next and associate the devices to the policy. You can choose specific devices and device groups and click Save to add the policy. Whenever the configuration is backed up and a change is found, the compliance check runs the associated policies. You can view the status of each compliance policy in the Policies page. The overall compliance report can be viewed in the Compliance Reports page. Thanks for watching.